Welcome to the Folktale Project. This is Dan Shawls. This week, we're going to have three new stories from Turkey, from Told in the Coffee House, Turkish Tales, collected and translated by Cyrus Adler and Alan Ramsey in 1898. They're short stories, partially because, well, they're stories that I really like from this collection, but also because, well, the Folktale Project is one of the many who has been impacted by a loss of power following last week's hurricane, and I'm conserving battery a little bit, if we're being honest. But these stories are still amazing, and I really, really do hope that you enjoy them. This is our first story, How the Priest Knew That It Would Snow. A Turk, traveling in Asia Minor, came to a Christian village. He journeyed on horseback, was accompanied by a black slave, and seeming a man of consequence, the priest of the village offered him hospitality for the night. The first thing to be done was to conduct the traveler to the stable that he might see his horse attended to and comfortably stalled for the night. In the stable was a magnificent Arab horse, belonging to the priest and the Turk gazed upon it with covetous eyes, but nevertheless, in order that no ill should befall the beautiful creature and to counteract the influence of the evil eye with certainty, he spat at the animal. After they had dined, the priest took his guest for a walk in the garden, and in the course of a very pleasant conversation, he informed the Turk that on the morrow there would be snow on the ground. Never! Impossible! said the Turk. Well, Tomorrow you will see that I am right, said the priest. I am willing to stake my horse against yours that you are wrong, answered the Turk, who was delighted at this opportunity which gave him a chance of securing the horse without committing the breach in oriental etiquette of asking his host if he would sell it. After some persuasion, the priest accepted his wager, and they separated for the night. Later on that night the Turk said to his slave, Go, Sully, go and see what the weather says, for truly my life is in want of our good host's horse. Sully went to make an observation, and on returning said to his master, Master, the heavens are like unto your face, without a frown and many kindly sparkling eyes, and the earth is like unto that of your black slave. Tis well, Sully, tis well. What a beautiful animal that is. Later on, before retiring to rest, he sent his slave on another inspection, and was gratified to receive the same answer. Early in the morning he awoke, and calling his slave who had slept at his door, he sent him forth again to see if any change had taken place. "'Oh, master,' reported Sally in trembling tones, "'nature has reversed herself, for the heavens are now like the scowling face of your slave, and the earth is like yours, white.' Entirely white. Chuck shy, wonderful thing. Then I have lost not only that beautiful animal, but my own horse as well. Oh, pity, oh, pity. He gave up his horse, but before parting, he begged the priest to tell him how he knew it would snow. My pig told me as we were walking in the garden yesterday. I saw it put its nose in the heap of manure you see in that corner, and I knew that to be a sure sign that it would snow on the morrow replied the priest. Deeply mystified, the Turk and his slave proceeded on foot. Reaching a Turkish village before nightfall, he sought and obtained shelter for the night from the imam, the Mohammedan priest of the village. While partaking of the evening meal, he asked the imam when the feast of Bairam would be. Truly, I do not know. When the cannons fire, I will know it is Bairam, said his host. What? said the traveller, becoming angry. You, an imam, a learned hoja, and don't know when it will be by Ram, and the pig of the Greek priests knew when it would snow? Shame, shame! And, becoming much angered, he declined the hospitality of the imam and went elsewhere. And that is how the priest knew that it would snow. An interesting tale about a traveling Turk, a priest that he meets 
upon the road and get some shelter from, and a very curious wager and a very curious pig, whose story I would like to know a bit more of myself. This is Dan Schultz for The Folktale Project. Don't forget that you can subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Overcast, anywhere you like to get your podcasts. You can follow us on Twitter at Folktale Project. You can find us on Auto Radio, TuneIn Radio, iHeart Radio, Spotify, anywhere you like to listen. And you can always head over to folktaleproject.com where you'll find a new story waiting for you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget that if you enjoy the show, head on over to Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen and leave a rating and a review. It helps others find the show, and quite frankly, I read every review, and I love it. As always, thank you so much for listening. <laughs>